And a new report by UNICEF says the U.S. has the seventh highest rate of child poverty in economically developed countries. Wallet Hub is a personal finance website, and it believes the issue of underprivileged children takes a big toll economically on the country and financially and emotionally. And they've released a new study, 2017's States with the Most Underprivileged Children. We're joined now by Jill Gonzalez, who's an analyst for Wallet Hub. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. This is a fascinating, fascinating study. You compared all 50 states in the District of Columbia and you took 21 metrics of neediness. How did you measure all of this? And we'll get to the, the states in just a second. Sure, so we actually looked at three different categories. Those 21 metrics were in each one of those. One was the socioeconomic welfare of children, also children's health care, and finally children's education. So we looked at that and saw how it differs, and it does differ vastly. Well, let's take a look, I, I, and I, I've seen these numbers. Here's the worst. Mississippi, District of Columbia, Nevada, the best states for handling uh, poor children. New Hampshire, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Tell me, what can those worst states learn from the best states. So I don't think that it's a coincidence that a lot of these best states year after year are getting high marks in education. They're seeing some of the highest or the lowest dropout rates, I should say, among the country and that even stands up for economically disadvantaged children. Interesting. I want to show our viewers this graph of the best and worst states with the highest food insecurity rates. Take a look here. If you look at this, it says Mississippi, Arkansas, New Mexico, Alabama, Arizona have the highest food insecurity rates. What does that really mean? So a food insecurity rate generally means that a child is not sure when their next meal is coming, when it is coming from. So that's really what we're looking at here, and it's the three times higher in Mississippi than, say, in New Jersey or Connecticut. Let's go into Medicaid, because here in, in Washington, uh, the health care bill is still in limbo. If they decide to cut Medicaid, how is that going to impact these children? So right now, a quarter of the U.S. population is made up of children, but half of Medicaid's population are children. So obviously, because they are the largest group who qualifies, they'll be affected the most. So that's, that's definitely scary. Okay, Jill Gonzalez, analyst for Wallet Hub. Thank you for talking about this very important study. Anytime.